Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone. This week, we have a Sunday night matchup with the Buffalo Bills. This is the second meeting this season between these two teams. The first, ironically, was also on Sunday night in week seven at MetLife, won by the Jets 35-23. Both teams are in a position to battle the Patriots for the lead in the AFC East, but a win is needed tonight in order for that to happen. The Bills offense is fueled by Josh Allen in the passing attack, the real question in this game is whether the number one defense in the NFL can handle stopping the pass tonight. The bigger threat is the number two defense in Buffalo. Their pass rush is just mind-blowing behind a front seven that is close to unstoppable and always in the offensive backfield. The Jets, however, have benefited substantially as of late with a running attack that makes the defense think twice. That may be helping Sam Darnold in the passing arena and keeping the opposing defense off balance just a bit. This should be a good one from New Era Field here in Orchard Park, just outside of Buffalo. Let's get set for action as the Jets take on the Bills here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Damian Sweet is back deep for the Bills. Trent Lyon gets his underway here in Buffalo. That one goes through the end zone, so out to the 25-yard line where Josh Allen will start. The Bills, nine interceptions, 26 touchdowns on the season, and he's on a roll. Now the first carry goes to Eckler up the middle for a couple of yards. And here is your first look at the offense of the Bills. Matt Harper in the middle of that offensive line is going to get some real scrutiny tonight. Will he be able to fill in for the injured Mitch Morris? And that one goes for a couple as well. Third and four, Allen back to pass, throws complete to Barnes, and he gets out to the 32, but not enough for the first down, so the Bills go three and out. Sam Darnold with 11 interceptions, 16 touchdowns, and 2,500 yards on the season, struggling as a consistent quarterback, and that is Justin Jackson. Up the middle for a six yard gain, and there he picks up the first down out to the 47 yard line. And uh oh, Casey Bird is injured, starting strong safety. And we'll have to see how that turns out. Jackson to the right, big yardage to the 46 of the Bills, and now on third and three. He takes the ball for a first down to the 40-yard line. The Jets look like they're determined to run the ball on this very talented D-line. And finally, a pass, and Darnold goes down. A flag on the play, holding, and that will be declined as it's an 11-yard loss. Again, Darnold is sacked. Tremaine Edmonds gets him back at the 40 yard line. His fifth sack on the season, third and 29. And for a third time in a row, Darnold goes down. Yannick Ngakwe gets him. And that turns the ball back over to the Bills. A play action pass, complete over the middle to Tyreek Hill out to the 45 yard line. Another play action pass. And this one is complete as well down to the 39 yard line. Austin Hooper, the very talented tight end gets the call on that one. And this is complete to Tyreek Hill for a six yard gain. Third and four. 
pass is complete. Rookie Elias Martin takes it down to the nine yard line where it's first and goal. And Eckler takes it down to the five yard line. Second and goal. And a flag on the play. Eckler gets taken down in the backfield, but it is offsides on Taj Little. And that will give the Bills the ball at the three yard line. And it's a touchdown. Dalton Barnes catches the pass. And it looks as if he dropped it, but he caught it, made an athletic move. They say, and it is a touchdown, Buffalo. Seven to nothing. Darnold throws, completes it out to Ross, and that will complete the first quarter as the Bills lead it seven to nothing. From midfield. Ball given to Jackson up the middle to the 41 yard line of the Bills. Third and two. And Jacobs takes it for a first down to the 36. Jacobs gets the call again. Another first down inside the 24. Now to the I formation. Great play action pass. And it goes out to Jordan Thomas, but he can't hang on to it. So now third and 10, a screen pass to Jacobs, weaving his way through traffic and down to the 14, but it's gonna be fourth in inches. The stop made by Ed Oliver Jr. And that brings out Trent Lyon for a 31 yard kick and it is up and good. So seven to three, the Jets are on the board. After a Buffalo three and out. It is the Jets ball again. Jackson gets the call and is out to the 39. A six yard pickup, second and four. Up the middle goes Jackson and he is very close to the first down and they do give it to him. From the 44 yard line. Darnold goes over the middle to Ross, and that is a first down, which brings up the two minute warning. Seven to three is your score. In the 45 yard line of the Bills. The pass is deep and it's caught. Carl Arsenault to the 13 yard line, a 32 yard reception, and the Jets could take the lead here before halftime. Jackson takes the ball down to the 10. Now third and eight. And Donald is sacked once again. That brings out Trent Lyon for a 36 yard field goal. And it's up and right through the middle. We have a defensive battle here in Buffalo tonight. Six to seven. He is your score with the Bills on top here at halftime. Now for a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat Baby. The first half has been a defensive battle, both squads holding the other in check. The Bills defense, though, has seen the injury of starting strong safety KC Bird, who suffered a shoulder tear. Out for about four to five weeks, it will give backup Kamari Bradham the opportunity to prove he can step into that role. Earlier today, the Ravens outlasted Washington 37-31, with Lamar Jackson having to put the ball in the air 49 times with four touchdowns as the result. In another AFC East battle, the Patriots invaded Hard Rock Stadium and came out with a 28-28 tie. Watson, although leading the offense to almost 500 yards on what would have been the winning score in overtime, he threw his second interception of the afternoon, ending the game in a tie. That gives both the Jets and the Bills a little bit more leeway in the race for the playoffs, but not much. As we get you back to the action at New Era Field, can the Jets do anything but score field goals? 
Stay with us to find out as we continue here in Orchard Park in just a moment. Welcome back everyone to New Era Field for second half coverage of our game between the Jets and the Bills. Each team has had a successful defensive stand in the first half, but can we expect some scoring in the rest of the game or will the defenses prevail? Let's find out as we continue with the second half. The Jets start out at their own 25 yard line. Darnold back to pass. Tries to fit it into a tight window and almost has it intercepted. Third and 10 now. Darnold back again, throws complete. Ross at the 38 yard line for a first down. His third reception of the game. Now Jackson takes it up the middle again. Four yards on the carry now on third down. Darnold back to pass, throws it short to Herndon. First down to the 46 yard line of the Bills. Jackson in the backfield, a pump fake and a draw play up the numbers on the left side to the 34. Now second and nine. And that is a first down. Jacobs takes it up the middle. Darnold drops back. Completes it, Rig Howard, touchdown. A 25 yard pass play that I would have sworn was gonna be intercepted. And Howard just came open right at the last second and took that ball all the way into the end zone. Two point conversion, stopped at the two yard line, but Powers his way into the end zone. Jackson picks up the two point conversion. And it's now 14 to seven Jets. Eckler on the pitch play, takes it out to the 25, but doesn't really get anywhere. And after a false start penalty, back goes Allen, has all day to throw it. And I don't see anybody getting even close to him and finally finds Eckler for the big play downfield a 51 yard pass play and the Bills are in field goal range and down goes Allen sacked by Ja'Kai Polite back at the 38 yard line now third and 17. Out of the shotgun, Allen throws, and that one is way too long for Tyreek Hill. The punt is going to be inside the five, and it's down at the two. The Jets are gonna start out in a hole this time. Second and nine. Darnold looking for somebody, finds Ross out at the 21 yard line for a first down. Four catches on the day, 67 yards and looking for more. Jackson up the middle to the 25 yard line for a four yard gain. Third and four, just about sacked and Completes that one out to Carl Arsenault for the first, and that will bring us to the end of the third quarter with your score 14 to seven with the Jets on top and driving. Nice play by Jackson, and he gets out to the 42. Ian Roberts injured on the play. He's on the sideline, looks to be that he'll be okay. Now third and two. And caught in the backfield is Jackson. He can't get out of the grasp of Eric Armstead. And that brings up a punt. The Buffalo goes three and out. Howard has room on the left side, cuts inside and is inside Bill territory at the 47 and that is excellent field position for the Jets. 
Jackson handles the pitch. Goes way outside. Nice move inside and down to the 43-yard line. Now, Jackson again with the carry and a first down to the 37. Jets moving the ball down the field and oh, Darnold is sacked. And Gakwe gets to him again. Now third and 16. Darnold back to pass and it's no question. He had to pass and Seth Smith could not handle Ngakwe a sack and punt were the result. Allen gets it out to Eckler and there is a face mask penalty against the Jets and Ja'Kai Polite is the guilty party. That gives the Bills a first down and another first down out to Barnes and he's out to the 48 yard line. The pass is complete to Hill and he's all the way down to the 21 yard line. And that puts him just outside of the red zone. An indefinite scoring position. Barnes with another pickup down to the 16. Now third and six. Allen back to pass again, throws into no man's land. And that brings up fourth down. They'll stay on the field and it's complete to Barnes down to the six and a first and goal for the Bills. Allen hands off to Eckler. He gets, oh, stopped just before the end zone. Second and goal and sacked. Demarcus Faulkner gets to Allen back at the six yard line. And that brings up the two minute warning. The Jets are ahead, but the Bills are just about to score. Adams on the stop. Derrick Henry can't get in, but Ellis does. A pass over the middle and the Bills tie this ball game up with under two minutes left to go. The rookie with the rare catch in the end zone for a touchdown against Marcus May. So now 14 apiece. Darnold throws the screen pass. Jackson out to the 34 before he's tackled. Nine yard pickup. Back to pass again, Darnold goes long, and that looked like interference, but uh, it wasn't called. Pass over the middle to Ross, and that is incomplete. The Jets have to punt. Now the Bills will have a shot at ending this with a field goal. All they have to do is get to, I believe it's the 39 yard line, and Eckler gets the first down, draws the flag. And it's offside against Jerron Mason. And yes, it's the 39 yard line that Brett Maher needs to get to for a legitimate shot at a field goal. And the pass is complete over the middle to Austin Hooper. And ironically, it's at the 38-yard line. And that is Eckler driving forward to the 33. Mar comes on for a 50-yard field goal, and it is good. 17-14 with seven seconds left. And all the Jets can do is try a Hail Mary pass, and it's downfield and intercepted. Damian Swede comes down with that one and that ends the football game. 17-14 is your score here at New Era Field and the Bills have won this contest. With a tight ball game at the break, it became clear as the game progressed that we're in for much of the same. 
two defenses that came to play meant for a low scoring affair. With just over 200 yards of offense for each team, it was clear that one of these teams had to grab just a little bit of momentum on offense. The Bills were that team in the fourth quarter. Had Darnold been able to lead the offense down the field on the last drive, they could have at the very least taken this game to overtime. The strength of this defensive front seven became apparent with as many times that Darnold was sacked, along with holding the running attack to just over 100 yards. The Jets, however, held Eckler and the Bills to just 22 yards on the ground. I thought this was going to be a test for the secondary of the Jets, and it proved to be just that. Allen and the passing attack were held to just over 200 yards, but what prevented a Jets win was the lack of offensive production. Trent Lyon did his part today, but field goals only take you so far. This means that Buffalo now holds the advantage over the Jets in the playoff race with just three weeks left in the regular season. Although all three teams have eight wins to their credit, the ties are definitely keeping the Pats and Bills in the lead for the AFC East crown. With a win today over the Broncos, the Saints were the first team in the league to earn a spot in the postseason. The Pats, Bills, and Jets all hold the top three spots in the AFC, so this is proving to be a very equally talented conference. Either that, or they're all subpar, and the NFC is a shoe-in to win the Super Bowl this season. Well, the next opponent on the schedule for the Jets are the Houston Texans. I would say that if this game were to be played in MetLife, New York would be the clear favorite. But alas, <laughs> it isn't. Having to spend another week on the road to play this game in NRG will be hard on the team, but not having the home crowd will be an even bigger issue. Houston, although beating Indy this week, has lost three of its last five games and in order to be a postseason threat need to keep winning or they run the risk of watching the playoffs on TV. The Texans behind the running efforts of Kareem Hunt have the number seven offense in the league. It's just the defense that's keeping them from having a winning record and a lead in the AFC South. Although they have some really good veteran players like Jadivian Clowney and Justin Reed, they lack the spark they once had when J.J. Watt was leading the charge on the defensive line. This should be an interesting ball game to see. Now that's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. The New York defense held Austin Eckler and company to a season low of 22 yards and with the Texans being a rushing threat will require the same kind of effort next week. Unless the Texans find a defensive strategy that works, the offense should be able to move the ball against the number 32 defense in the NFL. Will the Jets be able to put together a solid performance in Houston? Be with us to find out when the Jets visit the Texans in NRG Stadium. And until we see you then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone.